for Around the Ozarks in 5. Brought to you by Talking Rocks Cavern. Explore the beauty above and below ground at Talking Rocks Cavern. And the Springfield Green County Park Board, reminding you to go play. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Good morning on this Wednesday. Happy hump day. And you'll notice that Ethan got a lot cuter overnight. Uh, uh, I know, right? (laughs) Thank you, Diana Tyndall. She's been a guest on this show before, so I am thrilled to have her back this morning uh, because I needed a pinch hitter because Ethan is headed to the hurricane zone. So glad that you are here. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I know, right? It takes a natural disaster, <laughs> but I'm bring glad us you're together, here. right? <laughs> seriously, seriously. Oh. Um, all right, well, we'll begin with some news. A new alliance between four institutions will try to strengthen the workforce for healthcare workers in our area: Cox Health, Missouri State University, Ozarks Technical Community College, and Springfield Public Schools are all joining forces. Under the agreement, Cox College will be replaced and instead transition its bachelor's, master's, and doctoral program students to MSU and its associate programs to OTC. Also, high school students who participate can get certificates and associate degrees and go right to work if they want or on to college and get higher degrees if needed. Very neat. Well, the nonprofit The Kitchen just opened a new 44 unit development for senior age veterans and the homeless. It's located in West Central Springfield. The affordable housing complex is called Maplewood Villas, and it's available for folks age 55 and over. So if you're in that demographic, good for you. Uh, Tenants pay rent based on their income, which includes a which also includes a case manager to help people get back on their feet. Yeah, that's that's cool. cool. We know that Mm -hmm. this was needed in Springfield. There's a large homeless population and there was a need for affordable housing. So hats off to the kitchen. There still is, I feel like. Yes. Still so many needs. Yep. Um, All right, Springfield folks, your utility bill is getting ready to go up every month for the next three years, likely. City (sighs) Utilities is rolling out rate increases starting in the new year of 4.8% in the first year and then 4% and then 3.9%, like as a part of a tiered system. The increases must first be approved by Springfield City Council, though. Uh, CU says the increases are due to inflation, of course, and thus higher operating cost. It's expected to cost most people about $15 per month extra on average for residential customers. Oh, I feel like I that's going to be a big, big impact on a lot of people who I, maybe are barely making, you know, they're the, they're the people that probably have to go buy and pay cash every week for their utility bill or, um, yeah. Yeah. And that breaks my heart a little bit, but hopefully yes, there's some sort of assistance program with that. Yeah. And I mean, I think they still do the fixed rate thing. Like once you get adjusted, then Right. Doing the fixed rate. But um, I know it feels like bad timing. But if you think about it, every single thing is costing more. Right. And obviously that would include us buying power to be used. So I know it's been a while since they've done it, too. I think it's been a decade, perhaps. Oh, we'll see. Okay, I don't feel as um, mad about that. Yes. (laughs) I know. It just stinks because it's hard already with everything all at once, but um, all right. Well, speaking of city utilities, good on them. They are keeping all eyes on the Gulf coast and even staging um, beforehand before the hurricane Idelia approaches Florida. Um, It has yesterday got upgraded to a hurricane. So anyway, Springfield linemen are in line to help out. CU is part of a mutual aid agreement that sends linemen to heavily impacted areas when they are needed. And you might remember that just a few weeks ago we had crews from out of state here when we had all the power outages because of the bad storms mm-hmm. so it's good they're neighbor helping aid. neighbor yes yep. um okay so i guess it's my turn sorry that's I'm you halfway i'm halfway paying attention. i do it all the time it's fine <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, some Walmart stores in Arkansas will soon see a new testing and treatment program inside inside the store pharmacies. Patients who have respiratory systems can go in, get tested, and prescribed medicine if needed on the same day in the same location, seven days a week. Uh, they'll have a strep throat and flu and COVID tests on site, and you will get your results back in thirty minutes. How cool is that? No appointment yeah, that's pretty needed. Impressive. For now, the program is only available at select stores. 
see store for details, right? <laughs> at Walmart right, yeah, test sites as, as they are testing this new service. So yeah. And it's not in Missouri yet either. So um, we'll see if it works out in Arkansas, you know, their headquarters down there yeah. in Bentonville. So yeah, pretty cool though. Okay. Very well, convenient. Sam's club. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, you know, Sam Walton, Sam's club <laughs> is planning a a uh, big investment in Oklahoma City. They're spending forty million to open a huge distribution uh, center there. So it should open early next year. Does this mean we're going to get that many more cool things at Sam's Club? Because I already spend way too much at Sam's Club. I so do I. But this I is what happens. Do you ever? <laughs> I don't know if this happens to you, but we will get onto something at Sam's uh -huh. and love it. And then it like goes out. Like then they don't carry oh. it anymore. Has that ever happened to you? Not that I can remember, but I There's just been, walk like, in several food items. I'm oh, like, really? Bummer, we just got addicted to that great oh. food item and now it's gone. No, I walk in and I see all the unnecessary things that I need, like all the chief's merchandise of like, oh, we need a lawn chair. We already have 20 million lawn chairs. But we need a chief's one. It's ridiculous. Anyways, uh, speaking of other big, cool stores, Bass Pro Shops is expanding in Colorado. Store number six in the state will open in Loveland, Colorado. Uh, or Loveland. I don't know how you say that, but Loveland, Loveland, or Loveland. <laughs> and of course, the store will target hunters who hunt and fish in the mountains and high plains of the West. And it is set to open in 2025. That's cool. Go Bass Pro, go. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Um, all right. Well, if you like those little slider hamburgers like mm -hmm. I do, I do. Um, I you might have a new spot to go to. A Louisiana franchise is considering a restaurant in Springfield called Smalls sliders Aww. and it's likely opening six locations between Missouri and Arkansas. Um, it's known for its slider burgers, waffle fries, and milkshakes. Mm. Yes, please. Yeah. Well, I like, we have enough burger places and milkshake places, but I'm uh, yes, I'll be there, but too. they're small. And so you feel a little bit better yeah, about life. They're like, you know, RV size. Yeah. Um, also, that's what, um, White Castle, are you a White Castle fan? Ethan and I've had this discussion, he you know, grew up with white. I feel like it's nostalgia for him. I, I, not the I think you're right. <laughs> no, I would not say I would drive 30 miles out of my way to go to a White Castle. No, not going to do that. I would do that for other restaurants though. For but sure. Would you drive three miles out of your way for a White Castle? Sure. Yeah. Really? Maybe. Yeah. I wouldn't. Oh, you wouldn't? I mean, I think it's fine. <laughs> I don't hate it. But he, I mean, when we're driving to see his folks in St. Louis, he's like, we have to build in time to go to White Castle. And he gets really serious about it. And he's not messing around. And I'm, then I ate White Castle. And I'm like, it's fine. I but feel like, I feel like he's the guy that like should have a bumper sticker on his car that says, I break for White Castles. Like I break for garage sales. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wish out. I had my water bottle in here. If I had my water bottle in here, I would show you the stickers, the ridiculous stickers that he got at Wally's, oh. um, which is similar to Bucky's. I've heard you guys but, talk about this. Okay. Yes. So, so he has the bumper stickers that you're speaking of. They're not on our car. But they are on my water bottle, and one of them says like "Wallalooya." <laughs> I would. I thought you were gonna say he found one that said "I break for White Castle." Yeah, no, <laughs> there might be one. He bought like a little stack of them and was like giving them to the girls and me and like putting them on this like board thing that he has out in the garage. Oh, I don't know. Yes. He That's gets on something, good. and I feel like he would be a great marketer. If you ever need someone to market something, just <laughs> okay. make sure he believes in the product. Because and you've got to believe in it. Because you get all these, you will be sold free endorsements from Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Awesome. Um, all right, we want to end with this. Congratulations are in order for our two winners uh, from our Kansas City Chiefs tickets giveaway. So they've already gone to the game and it was a good one to go to because the chiefs won. So Gerald from Sparta and Congrats. Andy from Springfield, they got two tickets each for watching around the Ozarks in five and so cool. entering the contest. Yes. So very cool for them. We're excited. And then also make sure you're on the lookout for the rest of football season because we'll do it again. So yeah, we were just there. there. We were at the chiefs preseason game. It was so were fun. Were you? Yeah. Chiefs kingdom. I mean, nothing gets you hyped up like being in the Chiefs stadium. I'm telling you. I've You're been ready. once and it was awesome. Like the atmosphere was awesome, but it was freezing cold. Like 
like the kind of cold where it's hard to actually pay attention to anything else because you're just wondering if your toes are going to fall off. That's what it felt like that day. So I need to go back when it's not so harsh. Yeah. No, we, we go when it's only hot. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Quite the I mean, I grew up in Oklahoma, so I did not have a professional football team to cheer for. I actually grew up in Oklahoma before, um, thunder was there the basketball team as well. So I, I need to learn and love, um, professional sports because I am a huge fan of college yeah. sports. Yeah. And you but, appreciate I mean, come on. athleticism. I mean, from an athlete yourself. Yes, so. I do. I do. Cool. I love it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I live in chief's kingdom. Like it's time to join I and buy like the lawn chair, know. buy the yeah. lawn chair, do the thing, you know, I know where to find them. <laughs> I'm sure you do. And I know where to find them. Your garage. Cause you yes. bought too many. Yeah. Um, true. all right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. I really You're appreciate welcome. it. And, you um, yes, everybody will be watching Florida Gulf coast area. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, we'll keep you updated tomorrow morning. Yes. All right. Happy Wednesday. Yes. Have a good one. Bye.